Hello everybody, it's Farm Some Guy here. Hope you're all well. We are back on Marksville, and we're here with Argsy again. Uh, if you remember at the end of the last episode, Argsy was planting that field at the top, and I was mowing this grass. Now what we're going to do today, we're going to turn this grass into hay, and get it into the hayloft um, for the cows. And uh, then I'm going to head over to Argsy's, uh, and do a bit of work over there. But um, first and foremost, Argsy has gone to go and get a little windrower uh, a tedder even so we can turn this into hay uh, there's a little bit of grass on his land that he's going to put in our same uh, hayloft he's not going to build his own hayloft and he doesn't have his own silage clamp so uh, he's just going to help us and give us that uh, grass for free which is great of him um, and if he ever needs any he can just head to the farm and grab it as well so what we'll do we'll grab our little mower and we'll um, we'll head over to his Actually, it looks like Argsy's just arrived there, and he's going to um, ted our field first. So what we'll do is we'll grab our windrower, and we'll follow behind him and the tedder after he's turned it to hay. So like I said, once this is done, um, we can collect this uh, and then we'll go over to Argsy's and mow his grass as well. But to start with, we'll start to get this into rows. Now I think my, uh, it is, my windrow is slightly smaller than the tedder, so I should be able to follow straight up behind him and get this collected up. What we'll do when we get to the top, we'll just do this row and then we'll flip around so we're not... Um, we're not throwing our windrows into the middle of the uh, the edge of the grass, into the long grass here. We'll turn it around and go the other way. So there's Argsy coming down the hill with the tedder. He's got a six metre tedder. I think this is only about five metres wide, this uh, windrow. So he'll, he'll stay way ahead of me. Which means that he can... Uh, he can get through this pretty quick, and then I'm not sure what he'll do. I'm not sure if he'll go and grab his mower, or he'll just grab the loading wagon and uh, and start loading this up. We shall see. We're doubling up our rows again like we did last time, um, just because it means then the swaths are much bigger, uh, and it doesn't take as long to uh, pick them up in the field. Ideally, it would be nice to have a, a bigger windrow, but it seems a bit overkill, as we've only got one field of grass. But um, we'll push on. We're moving at 11 miles an hour, so it's not too slow. And you can see all the seeding equipment there ready for this field. That'll need to get done at some point as well, but uh, there's always lots to do. Always lots to do. Right, we're going to go down to the end of this row. Argsy's finished with the tedder. And uh, we'll swap over. I'll go and get the loading wagon. And uh, he's going to carry on doing uh, the rows. And uh, we'll start loading up that uh, hayloft. Cheers, Args. Right, we'll dump this in the shed, and then we'll go and grab the uh, the loading wagon, which I think is tucked away in the shed after we finish silage with it. 
There's more fuel in this tractor too. Mine was running low. There we go. The turning circle on this tractor is not the best, but in the grand scheme of things it is a brilliant tractor. It just seems to laugh at everything we throw at it. So much so I might uh, think about trading in some of the other tractors I've got. Because um, they're not getting used much. Okay, let's uh, let's start picking up some hay. There's a tiny, tiny bit of uh, tiny bit of grass left in there, but it's replaced it with hay now. That's good to see. All right, let's get this done. We'll jump on another time lapse, and uh, we'll see you shortly. Well, it looks like Argsy's just got one more row to do there, and he will be finished. And there's quite a lot still to get off this uh, field, but we're making good progress. It's rolling into the early evening here as well, so uh, probably the last thing we'll do today, and uh, and then we'll come back in the morning and see what else needs doing. So we'll uh, we'll push on, we'll keep going, and uh, we'll see you shortly. like Oggsy's grabbed the mower there so he's going to go and cut that little bit of grass that he's got at his farm um, so as soon as we've done this we can head over and uh, sort that for him so something nice about uh, doing this series with Oggsy is that, that when, I, when you're doing videos when you're doing single player videos a lot of the time is about getting through the work and um, there's a lot of time lapses a lot of course play um, a lot of things like that. Now we do have a course play on this uh, map as well, but it, um, it's really quite therapeutic just to drive a tractor for a bit. And that's one of the reasons I'm really enjoying this series is because actually doing farm work rather than kind of thinking too much about what you need to do for the video, you know, there's, there's big chunks of time when you can just drive the tractor, which is, to be honest, the whole point of the game. So um, that's what I'm really enjoying about this series. I look forward to this every week when we record it because. Um, obviously Argus is a time-lapse guy um, so he, he needs a lot of footage to capture his game and whereas I'm not um, that extra time gives me just just the opportunity to relax which is uh, which is brilliant a nice change from uh, uh, pulling other vids together so uh, yeah really good fun and I must say congrats to Argus as well this week he's uh, he's got his Giants partnership um, 
for hitting 1500 subs on YouTube and uh, I can't think of a guy who's more deserving of it he works so hard and the quality of his content is so good um, so congrats man well done okay we'll crack on and uh, we'll get this done as quickly as we can I thought I'd just do a check and see how much space we had left in the hayloft. It looks like um, we can maybe fit another two tons in and that is all. And then we're going to be full. So I'm not sure we'll get the entire field in here. Uh, Argsy and I did talk about this. So um, he was considering putting a hayloft at his farm. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth it for a little bit of crop. We'll have a chat about that and decide what we do next. But um, it's been a... And a pretty good harvest. Okay, we've just had a quick chat with Argsy. Um, his field is very small. He thinks it won't be much more than a trailer load. So he's just going to sell that straight away. Um, I've already said he can use some of my hay when he needs it. And if there's anything over and above what fits in the hay loft here, we'll just give it straight to the cows now. So uh, we'll just... I mean, literally, is going to be half a trailer full, if that. Um, so we'll see um, how much is left. It might all go in, we never know. So let's just gather up this last full row. It's going to be half a row left on the field. This happened last time with the grass as well when we were silaging. But uh, we'll... Uh, We'll make use of it. Not a problem. That's a good job. Well done. That's our second load off this field already. This grass grows quick. Well, that's it. The hayloft is full. We have uh, filled it to the brim. Now we will have enough left in here to 13% uh, left. We'll pick up the rest of the field. Uh, we'll drop some off at the cow feeding point and whatever's left in the trailer I think we'll just sell. Okay, 50% of a load that we could not fit in the hay barn. So, we'll give it to the cows a little bit of additional uh, food types. <laughs> they took 1%. Right. Let's go and sell the rest. Okay, here we are. Marksville bale sale. Let's see if they'll take a bale or they'll take it loose. Hopefully, they will take it loose. So brilliant. So let's sell this off. Let's see how much money we make. It's not going to be loads, but we got nothing for it. It didn't pay us. That's disappointing. It must only take it as bales. Oh well, I'll report that back to Argsy because um, he might need to decide what he wants to do with his now. Well, there we go. Argsy's just transferred 1300 into my account. Apparently, when I unloaded, it went into his bank. So we're heading up to Argsy's. I'm not sure if it's been windrowed yet or not, but uh, 
if it hasn't, we'll drop the trailer off and then we'll um, head back for the wind rut. Right, I'll jump out and let Argsy do a bit of uh, of work with the uh, trailer so that uh, he gets a bit of variety. I know wind rowing can uh, be quite tedious. Especially with that tiny thing. Well, Oggsy's off to sell this first trailer load, and uh, we'll see what sort of money he makes for that. It's not going to take me long to finish this here, and then we... Uh, I think we're done for the day. It's 6.15 in the evening, um, so we'll finish up for the day, and we'll be back in the morning. So, like I said, just get these last few little bits done, and uh, obviously you can gather those up. Um, I'll head back to the farm. Tidy up the machinery, because uh, I think the stuff dotted all over the place. But uh, it's been a it's been a good day. Yeah, we've got a lot of hay in our barn, uh, and it's quite clear the cows aren't going to use that much of it. Uh, either that, or we expand how many cows we've got. But uh, there's definitely uh, a lot of hay there, which could be sold at a later date. Um, so we'll keep tabs on that. Um, so yeah, we'll head home, we'll check the cows are alright, and then uh, we'll call it there for the day. Right, I'm going to run some of this equipment back to the farm. And wait for Argsy to finish up, and uh, I think we're going to look at doing some spraying tomorrow. Depending on if the crops have uh, progressed any over the night. But uh, for now... I'm going to go and tidy up the farm. The things you do while you're waiting for Argsy to finish. I don't know. Here's Argsy. Back with the loading wagon. He'll just drop that in the shed, I think. And, um... We can have a beer. I think we've earned it. Pressure's on. The pressure's on. Never doubted him for a second. That was a job well done for the day. Right, beer time. Morning everybody. We are back. Uh, it's half seven in the morning. It's looking, Argsy's just going to go and get some fertiliser and he's going to spray our field whilst we're planting. But we're going to head now and we're going to plant uh, the field that we ploughed the other day. I've just got to decide what I want to put in it. Man, this tractor's noisy. Crops are growing though, nicely. See field four's um, really taken hold. Field 13 there, a little bit slower. There we go. Fertilizer in. Seed in. Let's get started. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror. You're my ticket to paradise. Look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise Hey, now everything's alright We've been longing for each other And it feels like I'm on cloud nine Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down And I don't know what I would do without you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down 
there we go. Arxy's um, just finishing off a few bits and pieces in that field. Uh, I think she's heading down at the bottom there to spray that bit. That's uh, that's a funny shaped field. That it really is. Quite like it though. Um, and we are uh, gradually getting through this field. It's quite a big field, and it's not a big uh, cedar, but um, we're making good progress, and uh, will be some good returns off this field actually. Looking forward to uh, making a bit of money because we're running a bit low now. Um, we've kind of burnt through our capital, uh, but as we're edging closer to harvest, hopefully we'll uh, start to make some money again. Well, I think that's been a, a pretty busy episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I think we'll call it there, and I will uh, say thank you very, very much for watching as always, and look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Take care, and bye for now. Mm -hmm.